Hi, here's a possible solution to challenge five, multiple 3D shapes using one or more loops. And we'll do the bonus challenge. Use a loop within a loop, within a loop, to translate on X, Y, and Z. Here's a good starting point. This is based on one of the programs from the class, um, but I modified it to add the X axis and the Y axis, and where they intercept, that's the origin. This is point zero zero right here. Um, so let's look at this code. Create canvas 400, 100 WebGL. This canvas is 400 pixels wide, 100 pixels tall, and the WebGL means we're in 3D. The setup function gets called once at the beginning of the program, and then draw gets called repeatedly. The background is gray, as you can see. We're filling with light blue, and we are stroking with white. Actually, I'm going to remove this because... I made a change, and it's down below. Uh, first, we draw the axes. We set the stroke color to yellow, and then we draw a line and a line. So here's the first line. It goes from negative width over 2. So the whole width is this. Um, width over 2 is half that distance. And then negative takes us to the left of the origin by half the width. So it goes from a point... Um, negative width over 2, comma, 0, which is this point, to width, oh, this is supposed to be width over 2 also, width over 2, make sure that still works, and 0. Okay, now for the vertical line, I made the same mistake here, we want to go 0 height, negative height over 2, so 0 on the x is here, and uh, negative height over 2, so negative height takes us down to here, and then we go to 0 height over 2, which is up to here. Okay, that's those lines. Now we're going to create these three ellipsoids at these three locations. The center one is at 0, 0. So you see the center of the ellipsoid is at the origin, and then We've got one at minus 50, 0, which is here. So it's 50 pixels to the left of the center on the x-axis. And um, it's all three of these ellipsoids are um, at the same y position, y of 0. And then the rightmost ellipsoid is at 50, 0. We set the stroke color to white. And then we set up this loop here. So the loop, this is a for loop. It comes from, as far as I know, the C language and C++, and Java has something like it. And this is JavaScript. Um, there's a little bit of a difference here that we, in that we say let instead of some things we say in other languages. But in this for loop, there are three sections. This first section, this second section, and this third section. And the first section is our starting point, and we initialize a new variable called x to minus 50 because we intend to use it to position this ellipsoid at this x coordinate right here. And then we check and see if x is less than or equal to 50. And is minus 50 less than or equal to 50? Yes. So the loop can continue. And in the loop, we do, uh, we move on x to this first, this minus 50. We move, we translate, we move where we're about to draw to um, this x position. And then we draw the ellipsoid. And these numbers are the width, the height, and the depth. And we surround the translate and ellipsoid with push and pop so that the multiple drawings, transformations, don't interfere with each other. Push remembers the transformations as they are, and then pop brings them back to where they were before you did the push. So it's a way of saving, doing something, and restoring, and then repeating. All right, now we're talking about this part of the loop, which says that after we execute the body of the loop, this is the body of the loop from here to here, delimited by these braces. After we execute the body of the loop, we add 50 to x. X started out at minus 50, so when we add 50 to it, we get 0. So that gives us the 0 X coordinate for this point. 
And then we do the loop again and draw this one, and then we add uh, 50 again, and we check and see is it less than or equal to 50, and it is because 50 is less than or equal to 50. And then we draw the third one. Okay, great. So let's just see what we would do if we wanted to add a couple more. So instead of three, we have five. We know that this is zero, this x coordinate, and this is minus 50. Let's plan to have another one at minus 100. So what if we start x at minus 100 and we go all the way up to plus 100? And now when we run, we have five of these things. I think I'm going to change the shape of these things to make them a little bit more regular. So the width and the height and the depth. I'm going to make the depth equal the width. Oh, interesting. I expected them to turn into more egg-like things. but So width, height, and depth. Hmm. Okay, no matter. Um, good, so that's that. Now I want to do the bonus, which is to make a loop within a loop within a loop to get a whole bunch more of these. Let's now make another loop. So I'm going to duplicate this and this brace. And I'm going to change these x's to y. And I'm going to move also on y. So now we have this, and it doesn't quite fit within the canvas, so maybe we better make the canvas bigger. There we go. And these are kind of big, so I think maybe we need to shrink these down. Let's go 20, 20, 20. Now they should be spheres, but just to be a little more interesting, maybe 25. Oh, that's the width. Uh, 20, 25. Yeah, 22. Okay, um, x and y, and now uh, let's do it for z. So we'll duplicate this, select, copy, paste, paste, select, copy, paste, paste, shift tab to format the code here in the P5JS online editor, and now we'll change these y's to z's. And we'll translate also on Z. And now when we run, look at all those. Now we have a whole, we, we have them not just, not just a row, not just rows and columns, but rows and columns. And then, I don't know what we'll call it, um, multiple kind of like um, levels of those going way back. Why do we have so many and how many do we have? One, two, three, four, five. I think we have five times five times five. One, two, three, four, five. And that's because each, these loops, each perform their bodies, uh, perform the body five times. But since this loop is inside this loop, and this loop is inside this loop, it's five times five times five. Uh, okay, I think I'll stop there. That's an example of Challenge five, multiple 3D shapes using one or more loops, plus the bonus challenge, a loop within a loop within a loop to translate on X, Y, and Z.